Good morning. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? How are my peoples? I'm a little early today because I got a lot to do. And so because I have a lot to do, I'm just preparing. If you want a personal reading with me, go to tracybrownlive.com or you can just text me at 213-458-2444. I think. I think that's it. How are how is everyone doing today? Hmm? How are you doing? Hello, beautiful conundrum. How are you? Hi, Shana. Hello, sweetie. How's everyone doing today? Yes, 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 yes. I don't know what I'm sending. Oh, I should get some water because I'm a little hungry today. I think I'm going to use Doreen's virtual cards today. I'm going to keep it nice and simple this morning because I've got, you know, a Trump video to do. And you know how heavy that man can be in, in these readings. So. Grand Rising. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Hi, Black Butterfly. How are you? Hi, Deborah Huff. Hello. Hi, Ebony. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Um, and hi, Cynthia. How are you all today? Let's get this party started. Got a lot to do. And it's chilly today in BK. Oh, I haven't heard the word BK in years. Oh. <laughs> You're taking me home, BK. Did, did the snowstorm come already? Hi, Angie. Did you guys get the bad snowstorm yet? Or are you still waiting for it to come? And I heard that there's a three limit snowman in New York City, like only three allowed. New York City is crazy. Can only have three. Um, hey Tracy, like your outfit? Thank you. One of my many dashikis. I want some more. And then I don't even know, like if I go to a particular place, if they'll have more there, but I want some more. I'm like obsessed with dashikis. Hi, Tracy. I'm here if you want to use me. Oh, hi, Tiffany. Yeah, let me see how that works again. Hold on a second. I'm so hungry. I did not eat yet, guys. Live. Live chat. Ugh. Wait. I want this outfit. No, no, it's different. Oh, good, 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 good. I was like, I'll put this outfit already, but I didn't. It, it looks very similar, though. Uh, your videos. Thank you. Why am I not showing up live on YouTube? Let's get rid of you. Oh my God. All right, hold on a second. That's what Campbell Soups are. Mm -mm, good. Okay, here I am. Press you, add as moderator. I think you're on and I got notifications, okay. <laughs> it's the Aries in you, Geo. They were telling me something about you that's very similar to my daughter-in-law, which is 
you're it's talking to Gio now. It's like a personal conversation. You are Aries, Gemini rising, and my daughter in love is Gemini, Aries moon, something like that. I keep my uh, terrace door open so things come in. All right. How's everyone doing? Tracy, I purchased. Oh, did you purchase the soul? Oh my God, which one did you get? Which one? I'm obsessed with the money soap. Obsessed with the money soap. Obsessed. Like you guys don't have no idea what obsession means. I'm obsessed with the money soap. Hi, Teresa. Yes, 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 yes. So she loves you even more because the Aries and both of you connect very well. <laughs> she was telling me last night, she's like, I just love Gio. <laughs> Gio's the astrologer. So if anybody needs an astrology reading, I'm going to put you on blast, Gio, because she is ridiculously outstanding. Outstanding. And whew, the reviews that I got from people that I trust, oh my God. I mean, I already knew it, Gio. So I wasn't surprised. And when they went to rave about you, I was like, yeah, no, I know. Two people, two people I rave about, not publicly. If you guys don't notice that I'm not a bragger for others. Never a bragger for others. It is your job to do your job, to prove to people. So I don't brag for others. Um, I'll introduce you and you figure out how to, you know, move from there, right? And I'm consistent that way. And, and I don't care what anybody thinks. It's not my job to brag for you. It is your job to find your peaks. That's the way I see it, right? But privately, I encourage people to see a medium that I know, Deborah Hookie, especially when you get a reading with me and I could tell you're in a lot of pain, just a lot of pain. It's a little girl that I know that is in a lot of pain right now, but her mama's funeral is on Saturday and it might be too soon for her to have a medium reading, but and yet I think it might help her because I think she might be all alone in the world with three kids. In any case, I think her mama, she never said her mama died of COVID, but what else could it be? So I'm just waiting for her to get past the funeral, which is just drama enough. And then I'll be like, Deborah's having a class on the 28th, which we are all attending this mediumship class on the 28th. Um, and it's really a good time to do this because we're stepping into a new world on 1221. Also in a technicality, we're all stepping into a new year. Um, 2021. And so what changes could that look like? And it would be nice to maybe speak to some of our ancestors who are here. They're here on earth. They're here with us. They are. They are. They're here. A whole portal opened. And when the COVID deaths went up, the ancestors were like, get down, get down, get down. This is the time because the, the hole is a gaping hole in the sky from all the COVID deaths and it, it's not closing. So that means your ancestors get to come down and mingle with you. And don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if you see shadows, you know, don't, and you look and nothing's there. That's all your ancestors. Don't be surprised if things just start working out, you know, doors close, 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 close. And all of a sudden the same door just opens because your ancestors are like, oh, I've been trying to help you for the longest time. And now I'm here. Or we're going to do this. What's the link to the class? Just go to Deborah Hookey, H O O K E Y dot com. Can somebody put that in the link? Deborah Hookey dot com. 
All right. Can somebody put that in uh, Instagram? DebraHookie.com, please. Um, and she has an event on the 28th, I believe. And uh, we're all going. And, you know, and it'll be a good event. It'll be a good event. Hi, Netherlands. Hello, sweetie. Hi, Lucy. Blessed One says hello to the chat. Uh, Teresa, any recommendations for an ear infection? Yeah, call your doctor. <laughs> Talk to your doctor. I don't do uh, medicinal medicine like that because it's dangerous. <laughs> Talk to your doctor. Uh, or talk to a CVS pharmacy. You know how they know everything. Oh, yes. At Tiffany Willis, Deborah Hookie is the truth. I consulted with her last night. I'm still digesting. Oh, you had a reading with Deborah last night. You, you said you had a reading, but I thought you were working. Bori is the astrologer. So last night, we have a group chat and she's like, I got to go because I have a reading. But I thought you were working. Oh, you had a reading with her last night? I'm still digesting my reading with her. Good. Good. Now, she's addictive because when you go in a group, you know, your people get to come through. And then... Sometimes you go back to be like, I need to know more. And it's just a beautiful experience. So just digest, sweetie. Just digest. It's a lot. But I just hope she told you some amazing things. Oh, I got antibiotics, but the ache, the ache won't go away. I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm sorry. Yes, it was wonderful. She's so down home and comfortable to speak to. Yeah, she is. She's she's amazing. Um, so again, I don't necessarily brag for others, but what I have noticed with Deborah is that when I send people over to her, they come back to me better. They resolve. Their spirits are so much calmer, and they always say. Thank you for referring me because it's just a beautiful experience. Gio would be the next person because she's an astrologer and I am getting rave reviews about Gio. Like you are also, Bori, doing a wonderful job. So thank you for showing up in the world and thank you for doing, you know, what you do best. Um, and then there's Jason. Um, and these are people with unique skills. If you notice, the ones that I'm promoting aren't the ones that are like me, right? Not a psychic, right? Technically, anybody could be a psychic, technically. So I'm not promoting other psychics. I'm promoting people that have a unique skill. And Jason, who is a psychic, but he calls himself a wizard, which was so much better to identify him has these om, om, and these guided meditations and, you know, it just, oh, past life, you got to try to pass life meditation, past life meditation. Ah, oh, amazing, amazing. And so we love Jason. Yes, we do. And so with that being said, um, I am building a repertoire of, people that you all can go to. I wish I could be the only one that you all go to, but how selfish would that be? How selfish would it be if I just held you all to myself? Think about it. Think about it. And so, I mean, you can only be blessed by sharing this world. You can only be blessed by sharing this well world. And also, I'm not a fan of competition. I don't know if you guys noticed that. That's why I don't promote other psychics. Because at some point, 
if I promote a psychic and that psychic fails you, you're always going to come back to me. And you're going to come back to the video where I said, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I don't promote other psychics. Other psychics have to do what, what I did, which is make it on their own and not on my back. So. Thank you. The unity and the cross connection is what I've been trying to do. You know what it feels like to me without doing it, right? I feel like what I've been trying to collect is people with a unique skill, really good unique skill, almost like the, uh, the websites that are like, you get to pick and choose who you want, right? Um, which I don't like those websites. I don't like websites that are like a thousand psychics. I don't know about you, but I get overwhelmed when you give me too many choices. I'm like, <gasps> and then I get disappointed when I get a psychic that doesn't really do their job. And I, because I'm a psychic, I know who's doing their job well. Um, but I've got other people. I just need to ask them if I can start referring, uh, referring them. All right, guys. Hi, everyone on Instagram. Do you believe in numerology? Yes. Yes. And I got a numerology lady. Yes. Of course I believe in numerology. And I got a lady that, oh, she is amazing. So she's going to come on. She, so she, she actually contacted me because I had forgotten about her. And she was like, Donetta. And she's like, Tracy, we need to do a show together. And I was like, girl, yeah, why don't we do this? And then she doesn't live in Los Angeles anymore. And then she was, I forgot what she said. Let me see what she said. I'm hungry, guys. Ugh. Oh, can we do our exercise since I'm this hungry? Can we do our exercise? Oh, here she is. Come back, come back. Yeah, there she is. She said, oh, she said, let's talk and make a plan. She gave me her number. I didn't even see that. I was like, okay. And I didn't even see it. She goes, hello, my friend. This is Danetta. I always admire your abilities. Thank you, sweetie. And think you're a very gifted psychic. Thank you. During COVID, I have written 27 books based on a different numerology numbers. Would you be interested in doing an Instagram live event with me? Absolutely. I think we have good chemistry and it could be super fun and beneficial to both our businesses, of course. Let me know if this is something you'd like to do. Well, I've known Danetta for years. I've actually worked with her and she is of the most ethics. I like people that have good ethics. So when she contacted me, I was like, ah, oh, you're just going to be part of the repertoire of people that I can refer to that have a unique gift, unique gift. All right. I don't need to be the only psychic, but if you only have psychics, then there's no, you know, there's no real balance. But if you got a guided, meditated wizard, an astrologer, a medium, and a psychic, that sounds like a whole TV show to me. You know it does. You know it does. All right. <laughs> and anybody else is, everyone's developing their gift. And that's the beauty of stepping into this world, guys. You'll be surprised what gifts you have. You'll be shocked. I wish I was a medium. I don't know, Keandra. You're pretty gifted. You you got the gift too. You're pretty on point. So I would love to see you uh, work that thing a lot. But I think you're a nurse, right? So it's just kind of hard to balance nurse and metaphysical, you know, readings. And but you're really gifted very proud of 
your gift. It's really good. So if you ever want to come on board and, you know, be a part of, I unconsciously woke, thank you. Um, I'm distracted. I, I know, I know. But, you know, being distracted is one thing and, you know, helping others is another thing. They go together. I mean, I've been distracted, just so you know, I've been petrified that my precious sister would test positive for the COVID. Can I show you what I brought her? I showed my book club, but I'm gonna show you guys. Because it's the COVID and I don't know who's going to live and who's going to die. And this time next year, <clears throat> I don't know who's going to be here for Christmas and who's not going to be here for Christmas. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Destiny. I love that you said that. Uh, unconsciously Woke, thank you so much for the $20 and the super sticker. Um, I really appreciate that. I know uh, YouTube has set it up easily for you to send money. However, YouTube does not separate or break down my gifts. And so I think YouTube keeps it. I really do. Because there's no way for me to know, like, and by like, and this came from da 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 da. So there's a little sneakiness that's going on with this conglomerate. Um, so if you want to send money, Thank you, Destiny. Destiny is saying, send any money to Cash App. I really appreciate, because I forget, guys, to, you know. And my Cash App is TracyBrownLive.com. But what I would like for you to do is that if you <clears throat> send money Cash App, then text me and be like, Tracy, I sent you money. Yeah, please. So I can thank you. Okay. So I don't know who's living. I don't know who's dying. I don't know which family members are staying, which family members are going. That includes me, guys. COVID is ridiculous and attacking everybody. So I beg of you all to stay as healthy as possible. Vitamin C, oil of oregano, vitamin D. Be obsessive with vitamin D, please. Um, if you need to know the link to the vitamin D, this is only $7, 5,000 IUDs take it every day. I'm not a doctor. I just play one on TV. However, I've been frantic and she just tested negative. <laughs> Thank you, God. <sighs> yeah. And I told her group home, I said, and because I'm her conservative. Thank God I got conservatorship just in time. Who knew the courts were going to shut down? When I tell you God is good, God is good. And let me tell you something, it was costly. It was costly to become her conservative. And let me tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something. Guess how I became her conservative? Because of all of you. All of you helped me to be her conservative. The very first time I ever sold herbs, I did it so I can garner enough cash to pay for a lawyer. And I said to God, I was like, God, no, God's like, well, you, you do what you do. And I was like, nobody's going to buy it, though. Just having conversations with God. I was like, God, nobody's going to buy it. And God's like, <laughs> make it. And so I created an amazing, you know, uh, love kit and money kit. And I didn't know what to charge. And God said, I had one price in mind and God was like, no. And I was like, I didn't have confidence in myself. And I said, God, nobody is going to purchase this. And he's like, this is what you're going to charge and they will come. 
And so with spiritual insight, you know, I blessed the herbs and packaged them so pretty. The, the original ones, when I first put them out, the packaging was so cute. And I added oil, herbs, oil, um, a little syringe to take the oil out, glitter and parchment paper. And y'all paid for my sister's lawyer. And let me tell you something. When y'all paid for my sister's lawyer, I had money in the bank. I was like, oh, I got money. Let me tell you what I did. You know when you get greedy and you know God is there and God is like guiding me, do this, do this, do that, do that. And it could be God. It could be my mama. It could be my daddy. Like, But all of it is under the umbrella of God, right? And then I got all this money in the bank. Let me tell you, the human side kicked in. That human, that when that devil came in, the devil was like, you don't need to, to take that money and put it on your sister. And I was like, I don't do it. I, I really don't. <laughs> and so I sat on it. I did. I sat on the money. And let me tell you, God don't like ugly. Mm -mm. God said, oh, you going to sit on that money? Shoo. No work. None. Zero. Before I got the memo. And I was like, uh, God, uh, I'm going to the lawyer. And I'm going to give them my credit card. And we're going to do this, God. We're going to do... Okay, I was about to make a mistake, God. But... Uh, I, I I get it. I get it. Thank God I did. I became conservative on my mom's birthday a year later, December 7th. Or two years later. No, a year later, December 7th. Whew. So, what's happening with Teresa? Yeah, thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, God. Tony doesn't have the COVID. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Just give me more time with her. Give me more time with her. Oh, so, so long story short, look what I got her. <laughs> she loves purses. And she hounds me for purses. It's just the weirdest thing with her and purses. And every time we go, she says, sis, can we go shopping? Sis, I need a purse. I'm like, you don't? It's just, sis, uh, sis, I need a purse. And so, right? Who don't need this purse? Right? This is my girl. This purse is too cute. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. And trust me, I'm sure it's not authorized, but you know what? I brought this from a lady in the street. It ain't got to be authorized. It's got to be black uh, vendor. And I support street vendors. How cute is this? I love, I'm so happy. <sighs> of course, you've got other things besides this purse. You know why? Because I don't know if this is going to be my last Christmas with her. And whatever. Oh, I got it from. Hold on, guys. Because I told. I took a picture of the woman, too. Oh. All right. And she gave me a gift bag. I didn't have to work at all. This is all from a street vendor. She was doing her job. Her name is. My purse and I is, is the name of her company, Harriet McRae. Um, and her telephone number, 951-226-4519, 951-226-4519. I'll put it in the description. But uh, also, you know, she had her man sitting in the car protecting her. That's my kind of relationship. They both look retired, right? But 
he was sitting in a car supporting his woman. That's right. All right. Thank you, everyone. She's going to be so up. She's going to be so happy. And this year, because she tested negative, that means something might be going on around her. So my black ass, I can't. We are not doing even what I did uh, Thanksgiving. I will probably cook her some mac and cheese, um, probably some stuffing, probably bring some whole chicken over because I don't eat um, turkey. And I'm going to drop everything at the doorstep. I'm going to air kiss her and I'm coming home. All right. But she's got, oh, she's got a lot of presents. I'm so excited. So excited. Uh, okay. Over myself. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Let me just wave to some of my peeps that's been coming on. Let's get these people waved at. Hello, Omi Kiana. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Yes. All right. Hi, Ari. Hello, sweetie. How are you? All right. And to think they don't even want to give another stimulus check. Now, I heard they're giving something this morning. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Yeah, she has Michelle Obama. She has everything. She's just amazing, this woman. All right. She's going to love that. Yes. No turkey. I never never eat turkey. Um, and the only reason why I'm not making greens is because the last time I made it, there was so much left over that I was eating it for a week. And I just can't make, you know, collard greens this year. I just don't. I'm just not in it. Um, I, cause I made it for Thanksgiving and I was like, ah, I can't do this again. Talks have stalled. Oh, okay. Again, sorry about the stimulus check, everyone. So I'm missing some things. What's going on with Angela? What's going on with Teresa? Angela, my boyfriend called brother to wish him happy birthday and told my brother's friend that he died the day before boyfriend's older brother informed sister of the brother's death and she had a heart attack and she died the same day. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's heavy, Angela. I'm so sorry. I, I don't even know what all of that is. Oh, your boyfriend's brother died. So your boyfriend's older brother told your sister of their brother's death and she had a heart attack and died same day. That's crazy. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. That's some heavy stuff right there. I'm so sorry, Angie, Angela. I'm so sorry. Whew. Okay. Let's get on with the reading. I pulled three cards. Oh, I pulled four cards. During virtual. The first one is five of abundance. There are times when everyone needs a hand. Your angels want you to know that you need to go through your current challenges alone. Accept the help of those around you. The situation you're experiencing is temporary. This may not be the right time to become self-employed. Be patient. Second card is organization. Your plans are on target. Your plans are on target and everything will flow more smoothly if you add a little organization and discipline to your methods. Like seriously, clean out your closets, clean out your drawers. This is part of organization. The key to success is to allow your creativity to be gently guided by logic. Be open to asking for help from someone that's very intellectual or seek out a mentor or seek out a counselor. Next card is Six of Abundance. It says, Heaven opens its loving arms and pours abundance unto you. An unexpected gift is on its way. Accept it with gratitude and humility, knowing that you'll have a chance to return to generosity by giving to others in the future. 
consider volunteering for a charitable organization. And this is really important about giving to others, giving to others. I notice in this feed, everyone will stop and communicate with someone that's going through something. And that is giving unto others. I want to make sure that when the feed is over and you're just around regular people that you remember to do that when no one's looking. Oh, hi, Jackie. Oh, Jackie says do a Christmas Santa to help someone. It makes, yeah. Do it. That's, oh, Jackie, that's a great idea because this is about charity work and yada, yada, yada. And especially if you know a mom that's a single parent and it's like, drop some packages at her door. Yeah. Seriously, we all know somebody. Um, and Jackie says it makes one feel better to help others. And I think that's a really good idea. That's a really good idea. So if you can this year, because I still don't know what 2021 is going to look like. But if you can for this Christmas, everybody's buying Christmas trees. I notice everybody's being very festive. And if you can give some up, someone a present, do it. Do it. And then let me know. <laughs> and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> the last one is a win-win. There's strength and diversity. By blending the ideas of other people with your own, you can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon and open your mind to compromise and working together. Stay balanced and seek a moderate approach. All right, that's win-win. Six of abundance, you giving of yourself so that what you're doing makes you feel good. It's a really good idea. I like the Christmas Santa. Um, organization, become organized. A cluttered space means you can't think. So a lot of us need to be cleaning out. And because there's going to be a lot of changes, I just want you to be prepared because you've already started cleaning out. All right. And then the five of abundance. <clears throat> Everyone keeps asking about the stimulus check. I'm purposely not checking into it because I think the Republicans are in charge. And I think that it might have something tied in with the vaccine even. And I think that we won't get anywhere unless John Ossoff and Reverend Warnock um, is in the Senate. And then by January 20th, Biden will just have him and his cronies like really push out a really good package, even though it's a trillion dollar packet. It's a trillion dollar package and no stimulus monies. It's crazy. But I think there's a lot of delay by design, guys. So I, I'm just going to ask you for your patience while the Democrats figure out what they're trying to do, not against us. The Republicans are really, they're in charge. And so there's a lot of stuff going on. So let's get John Ossoff in and Reverend Warnock. And if you want to work with a charitable organization, I'll put the link in. Um, you can make phone calls. You can make phone calls until January 5th. So we need you. All right. Yes. Yeah, I don't know what it's going to be. I, I wish it were more for everybody because everybody at this point is broke, like really broke. I've been donating food and pet banks throughout the pandemic. I'm the one that doesn't really know any single moms. All right. Or young children. I do need to get rid of all these clothes, right? I got so much clothes and... I don't want to give them to Goodwill. I don't want to, I don't want to, first of all, most of them came from Goodwill, but they were nice clothes. I don't want to give them back to Goodwill for them to sell it. I just, I've got amazing, adorable clothes. And I just want to give them away. 
Oh, it's up here, sweetie. I always put it. Tracy Brown, uh, dollar sign Tracy Brown Live. Uh, dollar sign Tracy Brown Live, cash app. And Venmo is Tracy Brown 07. Oh, thank you, Destiny. It's in the bar. <laughs> Gotta use the right words. Thank you. Thank you, Gio. Thank you, Destiny. You guys are amazing. Purposely, Bandura are women and children shelters in your city accepting donations. Well, that's for me, too. I would, cause, okay, I'll check out some of the female shelters. That would be nice. Female shelters with women and children. All right, guys. Uh, but... Uh, back to Purposely Pandora, um, donating food and helping out with the pet banks, like that's everything too. And by the way, um, adoptions, pet adoptions went up during the pandemic. Look at that. See how COVID, see COVID loves animals. Pet adoptions went up. Beautiful conundrum. She says, I too have been volunteering at a food pantry. Take it there as well. Okay. I mean, I called my church food pantry and they were like, we, we have enough to do. And I was like, guys, ugh. I was like, you don't have to do anything. I can just bring the clothes and sit it outside and give them, because I, I know my church. And they were like, no. And I'm like, you don't want thinking though, it's Christmas. Maybe I'll email them again, but I'm not begging people. They don't want it, they don't want it. But well, we got a lot to do, do you really? Do you really? You're giving out food, and as you're giving out food, they always have children with them. A little girl can't come over and pick out a dress. Really? Oh, oh Ebony. Thank oh, Ebony. Wait, oh. Ebony. Is that for a reading, Ebony? Let me know. Thank you, but let me know. All right, guys, put up your PayPal and cash app info. I'll put it in the link. How about that? I used to put it in the link and then I just got lazy. I'll put it all in the link. Cash app, PayPal, Venmo, I'll put it in the link. Well, but you know what? You can tell clean clothes. Let me tell you something. You can be cautious all you want. You go out there and buy a bag of groceries and COVID's all over those bags. But you could tell clean clothes. So the clothes I'm giving away, spotless. Absolutely spotless. No, what celebrity? We're not going to save Periscope. I don't want to save Periscope. It's going to go to Twitter Live. It's all good. Hi, view from my porch. Hello. I love it when my men come aboard. Yes, yes, to the men's. The men's is is. All right. All right, guys. I'll be back, sweeties. Let me go eat something, and then I have to do a reading on Trump. And we're going to do that. Exactly, Gio. The charities will probably wash the clothes again. Exactly. I love you guys. I'll see you in a couple of hours. Bye.